Hi, I'm Bob Kovacs, and this is a review of the BenQ SW240 monitor. Now, BenQ calls this an Adobe RGB photographer monitor, and I think that that means that it is targeted at photography work. However, I mostly use it for video editing, and it's been a pretty good video editing monitor for me. Now, I got this on loan from BenQ to review. They've had it with me now for a few weeks, and I will be returning it to them. So I don't want you to get the impression that I actually paid for this display. This was loaned to me for the purposes of this review. So now that we've got that straight, this is a really nice display. Now, normally I edit with a 27 inch monitor and this display is 24.1 inches diagonal measurement. So it's smaller than the monitor that I usually use. And you know, if it was up to me, I would use a bigger display. So the fact that it's 24 inches is not my most favorite feature about it. I would want a little bigger monitor. That said, if what you need is a 24 inch display, this is a really good display and I'll be talking more about it. Now, it has a 16 by 10 aspect ratio with a resolution of 1920 by 1200 pixels. So it's not a 4K display. It's a high definition plus display. Again, it's 16 by 10 aspect ratio instead of the 16 by nine, that's typical HD resolution. It has 99%, it can, uh, it can do the colors for 99% of the Adobe RGB color space, 100% of the sRGB color space. And for you video people out there, meaning they haven't really forgotten the video in this, it'll do 95% of DCI P3 color space. Now DCI is the Digital Cinema Initiative. So that is a video related color space and the SW240 will do 95% of that DCI P3 color space. It's a 10 bit display, meaning that you will get less banding in the colors on it than you will get from an 8-bit display. I'm not sure how many displays are 8-bit nowadays, but just in case, I've not noticed any particular banding, whether I'm looking at still images or color uh, motion, motion video graphics on this display. And there also, before I get off the uh, basic features, there's a hotkey button down here that if you press it, will switch between Adobe RGB, sRGB, and a black and white mode. And BenQ makes some noise about the black and white mode that if you're editing black and white photos, this is a better mode to be in for you because it'll give you better representation for your black and white photos. But I've been working in the Adobe RGB color space. That seems to have a little punchier color for me. And now when I first got it, first connected it to my computer, I adjusted it, I calibrated it using my Spider 5 calibration device. Now when I boot my computer up, it gives me a little message that says the calibration is kicked in and it's looked great for me. I haven't seen any color issues. On the back of the display, there's a three prong power connector, a DVI port, an HDMI port, a DisplayPort video connector, a USB port, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. If you use the USB port on the SW240, it activates these two USB ports and the SD card slot that are on the back and side of the SW240 monitor. Now they're kind of out of the way there on the back and the side, so they're hard to reach. So although you might use the USB cable to activate them, my, me personally, I find it easier to just use the SD card slot and USB ports on my computer because these are a little hard to reach. Let's talk about some of the other features of the BenQ SW240. For one thing, it has a terrific mount that allows you to raise and lower the display and you can also rotate it through a wide angle so that you can adjust it so that it faces you exactly the way you want it to face you. Also, when you have it all the way up on its mount, you can rotate it around so that it is vertical. So if you want to work vertically with this display, you can. Now, my cables aren't quite long enough to adjust it so that it's perfectly vertical here, but you see that you can rotate it like that. And before I go any further, I should say that the street price for the BenQ SW240 is $400. 
You can get that price from B&H Photo and probably from many other sites online. You might find a little discount, but $400, it's a pretty good monitor for $400. As I mentioned, I've mostly been using the SW240 for video editing. I do a little bit of Photoshop work on this computer, but not very much. Most of the time it's video editing and I've been editing with DaVinci Resolve version 14 software, which has been working out pretty good. And this is very clear on the SW240, so I can easily see these thumbnails down here. Of course, my input screen where I've selected my input source video and the master output video. All of these are all very clear. I can easily see thumbnails and select the scene that I want to get to. This is a music video that was done at a performance, a local performance a few days ago. So I could easily get to uh, see any of these things and select the ones I want. So what's my opinion of the BenQ SW240? As I said earlier, I really use a bigger monitor. So this is a little smaller than I would like. It's not the ideal display for me. I like a 27 inch monitor. Ideally, I'd like a 32 inch monitor. That would be even my, uh, you know, my, my absolute ideal for an editing display because there's a lot to see on these video editing screens. And if I can expand that a little bit, maybe with higher resolution, maybe even 4K resolution, then that will enable me to get more stuff on the screen at once. So a 24 inch is not my ideal, but again, I'm doing video editing and this is really targeted at photography. So for uh, Photoshop work, for doing photography work, this is a really pretty nice monitor. The colors it displays are highly accurate. I've set it up, as I said, when I initially got it and plugged it into my computer, I did a calibration on it. As far as I could tell, the colors have been just right dead on, looking very good. And it is sharp enough, certainly, to do the sort of video editing that I've been doing. So if what you need is a 24 inch display to do video editing, I would not rule this one out. This is a pretty good display for video editing if you can only use a 24 inch display. So I like it, not my ideal because I want something bigger, but if what you need is a 24 inch display for $400 with its sRGB and Adobe RGB color space, plus its enhanced monochrome, its enhanced black and white color space, if you can call that a color space, uh, this is a great display for photography work and doing Photoshop work. Hey everybody, I'm Bob Kovacs. Thanks for watching.